Hola guys, I've got a few, um, it's just kind of a different video. I've got a few updates for you on my bike, as well as a question about my bike. Um, it's about the, uh, well I'll show you guys in a minute, but this is my instruction manual, because um, I'm going to be referencing it for my question. So, let's go down and get, get the bike real quickly. Um, quickly here. You gotta be careful going down here. This is like ultra super dangerous. Hey, it looked solid concrete floor. So if I fell off of that, I probably I probably would wouldn't live. But anyway, wouldn't live to tell the tale. That is solid concrete guys. And I did the stupidest thing trying to take my bike down there. Hopefully I didn't mess it up. Yeah, you know, that looks there. We're all now. Anyhow, quick update. Yesterday, I um, I rode my bike around a trail, and I did do a bike POV. But here's the thing that bugged me, um, and that I hated because I really wanted to do another POV for you guys. But the camera, the camera mount came undone. I did fix that though. Um, the nut actually came out, but I had another one in my room, so uh, all I had to do was just replace it. <laughs> Um, but that totally ticked me off. I cannot believe that. So, see, another update is that I took off this extra wing nut here that I didn't need. I replaced it with a regular nut, and it is super tight. Um, here, you know, let's get on the camera mount real quickly. Hold on. Uh, before you do, I also want you to notice that it is no longer sticking out, alright? It's not sticking out like this. It's now going in. So, like this way, towards me. So when I sit on it, it's now facing towards me as you see. As you can see, so that's that. So let's put this on real quick. Okay, so what do you think about this view guys? Here, let's back up so you can get a better Whoa, okay, you know what? Stupid kickstand. I'm totally I think my kickstand hates me. It's like the most abused part of my bike because my I keep forgetting to kick it up when I back up and sometimes my pedals hit it and now I'm kind of stuck because I'm like, oh crud, I cannot move my kickstand now. So then I have to literally just get up, pick up my bike, and turn the pedals, and brake it, and then I have to fix the kickstand. Uh, it's so hard. It is coming loose, though. I have to get an Allen wrench or something to re-tighten that. Anyhow, what do you think about this view? I like it. I actually really do. Hmm. I suppose it's going to do for us. Whoa. Sorry about the squeak. Sorry about this week, guys, seriously. Um, anyhow, another update is that it is official. My bike does have front suspension. I figured that it did, but um, it kind of fluctuated between it does and it doesn't. But now it does because it can compress. I can compress it here. I can't compress it very well right now, though. All right. There you go. See that? Did you feel that bouncing? Um, that was front suspension, me compressing it. So it does have front suspension, which is really nice. It's totally awesome. I was so disappointed when I thought it didn't have it, but it does. And I mean, it's okay. It does okay. It's not the best front suspension, but it it does work for its purpose. Uh, it's, it's um. In fact, my question that I was going to ask you about is actually about the front suspension. So, here, you know what, let's park. Well, okay, that was a bad idea. That is one of the main reasons why I did that, because I just stopped using both handbrakes, and if I were going at full speed doing that, I would fly over the handlebars, which would, my camera would get severely damaged at the place it was before, but now it won't, it'll still get damaged, it just won't be quite as damaged, I don't think, but it probably, you know, just trying to be safe. Of course, I will probably be more damaged than ever, and you will hate it a lot. So, okay, I'm going to take this camera so I can show you guys real quick something. Hold on. <coughs> okay, here's my question. This here is the front suspension. See, I was wondering what the heck that meant when I thought it didn't. It says sport shock. I thought, okay, it must really have front suspension, but I don't know if it's talking about this, or if it's saying that this actually is a suspension. I was so totally confused, but this is actually a suspension. But... These black things, are these the, like, here, let me show you guys something real quickly in the book. That's why I had to get the instructions. 
I just find the page here. Um. Uh, where are we? Where in the world? Here we go. Suspension frame. Let's see. Suspension fork. Okay, preload adjusting bolts. Hold on, let me back her this a little bit. Oh gosh, I hate this camera. I just literally put the focus on like 20 times just to try and focus this thing. Um, anyhow. Preload adjusting bolts, and it's pointing to right there, which on my bike, sorry about the blurriness, is these things. So, I'm not sure if those black things are the actual preload adjusting bolts, or if they are just caps. I think they're just caps, but I just want to be doubly sure. Um, I believe they're just caps. I hope they're just caps, because I did try and take this off, and if it wasn't, if it was the actual preload adjusting bolt, then I probably broke it. Um, but I'm hoping that was a cap, so. This is my question. Is that a cap? Because, um, I just want to make sure I know exactly where they are, and... You know, all that stuff. Um, let's see. Okay, I do have one more question for you guys. This is also killing me, so hold on. Okay, guys, here we go. This is a perfect example. This is just a front wheel assembly, nothing special. Actually, this might be kind of... Anyhow, I don't know what it means by recommended torque is 250 inches pounds. I know what torque is. Is it just how tight the grab is? But how do you... How can you check that? How is there a special tool you need to check that? A special wrench that, like, has a gauge on it? I don't know, if you could tell me that as well, that would be perfectly wonderful, guys. Seriously, I'm not kidding you guys. Um, I'd really like to know that. So, if you could, sorry, if you could, that'd be super cool. So, thanks for watching, guys. That's all, and just goodbye.